don't mind the darkness behind me. It's November in Wisconsin. And the lighting is depressing. But Grapple Snake has started to make a name for themselves in the tennis string industry. From their Shape Poly, the Tour Sniper, to the amazing performance of the Grapple Snake Tour Mate, the latter of which is my favorite eight sided poly I've reviewed so far, they are making a damn good name for themselves in the polyester space for the tennis string industry. They sent me two sets of their newest, most cutting edge polyester. So after hitting like and subscribe and that notification bell, let's check out the Grapple Snake Paradox Pro, and this is its tennis string review. I'm going to do something a little bit different this time around. I'm going to put all the pros in the first part of this video, the cons in the second part, and the overall general thoughts in the last third. If you prefer the old format better where I do the baseline pros and cons, then the net pros and cons, then the service pros and cons, let me know in the comment section below. I do want to hear your guys' feedback. I like to change things a bit and I'm continuing to try and deliver you guys the best, most formatted content for tennis strings and tennis equipment. First and foremost, this is the best top spin potential from any round poly I have ever play tested. And yes, even better than the Yonex Poly Tour Pro and the Grapple Snake Tour Mate. Yes, I know that the Tour Mate is eight sided, but I'm just going to consider it to be round. There is just something about how this ball dips when it hits the string bed at a very high acceleration that is almost behaving like the Slinko Hyper G or the Slinko Tour Bite, where it just absolutely dips down into the baseline to the surprise of the opponent on the other side of the court. Also, this string required absolutely no break-in period, which is always a welcome attribute for any polyester I playtest. The Paradox Pro is also extremely finesse-friendly from both the net and the baseline. The Paradox Pro really stood out on the baseline drop shots and the finesse pickups at the net. And unsurprisingly, it's also fantastic for flat ground strokes like the approach shots and the block one-handed backhands from the baseline. This string was also one of the best polys, definitely top three, for both aggressive and backhand slices. There were numerous times where my opponent just completely misread the slice ball I gave them for an unforced error, and trust me, I checked that that ball did not hit a line to skin. The pros of the slices and flatter strokes also carried over to the serves. I was able to flatten out bombs with this bad boy on all parts of the service box and the slice serves, specifically on the deuce side out wide, which granted me more than a few free points on my service games. Now, with the pros out of the way, let's talk about some of the negatives. After the video sponsor that I'm going to say is... Me. Come hang out with me on my Twitch channel. I stream on Twitch on Monday and Wednesday nights. So if you guys have a quick question about strings, rackets, or just want to see me win a few Warzone games, please follow me on Twitch. The link is down in the description below. It is twitch.tv slash mark underscore sunset. Thanks. Although this string has many pros, there are some cons that I want to address. First of all, this string was an absolute pain to string. Yes. It is probably because the two metals mix into the concoction of what is known as the Paradox Pro. But as a stringer, it was a very difficult string to weave, especially on the crosses. Second, from the baseline, there were times where the string was absolutely overpowering. This was more frequent on shots from the baseline where I was a little hesitant to swing out on for both the forehand and backhands. Third, this was not a comfortable string. I'm not saying the sweet spot shrank on my racket, but the feedback from the string all the way to my arm was very apparent even if I had a slight miss hit on a ground string. Also, as a small side note, this string is a lot more powerful than most round polys on the market. The power is more similar to a multi-filament unless you are swinging confidently at all times from the baseline. Lastly, this string does not last long. The first playtest I did in the string only lasted four and a half hours of straight hitting on court. Not too bad, but at the price point of $17.50, I would like to see a little bit more durability from the string. But in their defense, the tension drop after four hours is not noticeable at all. You can consider that both as a negative and a plus. This string is really not for everybody. If you guys are looking for a round poly where it gives you a nice feedback on miss hits, where you don't feel anything dampened like the Slinko Hyper G or even like the Slinko Tour Bite, something where you want to have high spin potential where it's comfortable to swing out on flat serves and flatter shots with surprisingly good spin potential for a round poly, I would highly suggest you guys check out the string. And as for the tension maintenance, let's check out Future Mark. Well, <laughs> it only goes to 26 DT, so uh, on a mid plus, because my racket's uh, head size on my DR98 Yonix is 98 square inches, it's under 37 pounds. So, isn't that interesting? 
This string was tested on my Yonix DR98, strung at 50 pounds, and it was play tested initially for four and a half hours, and I'm actually an hour five on my second play test because they did send me two sets, which I'm very grateful for. So if you guys want to check out the Paradox Pro, which I highly suggest you guys do if you guys feel the pros really do click with you, please check out the link. It is a referral link. It does help out this channel. And if you guys want to check out the Grapple Snake Tour Mate and or the Grapple Snake Tour Sniper, please use the comment down in the section below as well. It does help out this channel. As always, guys, happy hitting.